the March to Washington was one and preparing for it. That was sort of a beginning for my finding Martin Luther King and, and someone who I felt could lead this kind of, of movement for change. Of course, to this day, where I grew up is, is, uh, still trying to figure out what all of that was about. I'm 77 and a half years of age. Uh, I'm from, uh, born in Youngstown, Ohio, but, uh, grew up uh, in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm from Huntington now and have lived in Huntington for more than 50 years. You know, it was the typical Birmingham, uh, South, but we, we tossed the word around racist. They were very uh, discriminating about where black people were supposed to be and what they're supposed to do. And the only encounters I ever had with blacks were housekeepers. I can remember even at seven or eight years of age, walking down the street, talking with my father and wanting to know why there were no uh, black children in the school. My father would just say, Joyce, keep your mouth shut. See, I come from, and, and this is just everywhere you, you can look, you come from a culture that has been this way and you don't even know what is going on until you get hit with these kinds of, of uh, diversities. I didn't know there was another train car where black people had to go. I mean, I knew that when you rode a bus in Birmingham, you know, black people had to sit in the back and we had to sit in the front. It was the year that Authorine Lucy tried to come into the university. The uprisings came about, um, you know, People didn't want Authorine Lucy. She was a black woman, and nobody wanted her to come into the University of Alabama. It was my first experience with really some of this high-level activism. The Ku Klux Klan showed up in their long robes, and there were probably 10 or 15 men and a burning cross, and they stood outside uh, in a parking lot right next door to the building. and had their meeting, and um, I stood on the steps at the foundation and looked out at it and thought to myself, what is this all about? You know, and from a distance now, I can say to myself, this is the reason my father told me to keep my mouth shut. That was just the beginning of my education because... Uh, I don't feel I really had much to do on any part of it other than I was seeing what was happening and learning. I didn't know about the Holocaust. I learned about that after I came to New York in graduate school. I never knew a Jew. And again, I'm saying... Why was this whole world of diversity closed out for me? It took a long time for me to find out. And I still have family members down in Birmingham who are behind on those learning experiences.